Yo, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. We got the uh, new trailer here behind me and I know y'all been asking for a video on it. So I wanted to uh, show you guys that uh, here, what's going on here. So we got the new trailer here. We got this Joker here from Texas and uh, went to go pick her up over the last few days. For those wanting to know how long it is, it is a 48 footer and uh, it is a gooseneck, obviously. It's here parked on my auxiliary driveway now until the rest of the other awnings in the shop get fixed. But we do have sleeper aids, uh, shower, toilet. Oh, forgot to put my fresh water connection back, closed back up. City water, shitter, shower, the works. And I obviously really wanted to get this so that I can, it's, it's filthy now because I literally just got it the other night. But, uh, you know, really wanted to make sure that it uh, all stays you know the way that it that it needs to be you know once the awnings and everything goes up and we're at obviously at the racetrack but we'll also build the awnings and stuff you know for the trailer to stay sheltered and whatnot you know when we're racing so uh, is a triple axle uh eight lugs and everything should be good uh, for this outside it's pretty much you know self-explanatory we got the tv mounts for the cable uh playstation all that stuff to stay nice and entertained uh here at the uh, racetrack all right, so we come on in here, got some of the lights. Let me turn this one on over here. You can see, got some windows, cabinets, um, clothes closet to hang all of your race gear with the coat hangers and stuff like that. Lights inside of there as well. Got the wet sounds audio system, I'm not gonna lie. Thing kicks, sounds awesome. Speakers inside and outside. Cabinets up there, sink hot water heater, quick toolbox, sofa bed here on the inside. And it's got all kinds of cool lights and stuff on the inside, lights in the floor for the car when you're tying it down. You got the blue stairwell lights, you got blue lower lights, blue highlights. You can really kind of do all things, outside lights, uh, underglow on the trailer. Things pretty decked out, I can't really complain. Come over here where you can store your toolbox, strap it. I got to put my toolbox in here for some E-Tracks and stuff like that. Uh, inside height is eight feet. Uh, I did not put an air conditioner up on this side. I didn't really think it was needed because I'm probably not going to spend a lot of time on this side. It's just really where the cars are. And then you come over here, got the plenty of storage cabinets and stuff like that. On this side, I can open this and show you guys here. It's pretty awesome. Uh, through some shop tiles and stuff in there. It's all bare right now. Again, you know, I haven't really put anything in here since I bought the trailer. Again, the toolbox. This is really cool because it also folds out. It can be a couch or fold into a bed. We got the bedroom up here, just the mattress. Again, air conditioning up here, TV spots and all that stuff. I just haven't installed all that, but I do have it all. You come in on in here, here's your your tanks, your stuff for your uh, for your tanks here and stuff. You could test it all here. Up, oh, must have left that joker on. That's all right. We'll be all right. Come on here. Got the got a nice shitter. Come on in here. Got the fan up here. So when you're taking a big dookie, you let that shit out. Uh, got the shower, bathroom stall. This stays open and closed, so you don't have to necessarily buy a, a, a shower itself. RV shower and stuff, it works, you know, good thing I'm only about 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11. So, I mean, if you're a Shaquille O'Neal, it would probably really suck. Nice little medicine cabinet as well here, which is pretty cool. And it all really just makes the life of when you're at the racetrack that much better. So that, you know, you just don't got to, you know, just be like, damn, man, I ain't got no shower. And I got shower at a truck stop and, you know, whatnot. Oh, for the ones that are wondering what's in the floor... Uh, you got a spare tire here, and then you have your winch and stuff here. Uh, the wireless winch and stuff, so when you want to uh, pull your car up, that breaks, because it's going to break sooner or later. It breaks, you know, even though Snow White never breaks, which uh, if I hadn't made the video, depending on what time I post this, you'll know about that video uh, with Snow White and the engine, and that engine, uh, that engine is actually truly hurt now. So, uh, But a video on coming up, what's coming with that here soon. Smoke detectors, which I'm a huge fan of, which is awesome. Because you will spend a lot of time in here and God forbid some shit happens that's going on in here while you're eating or sleeping. You can just be alright. D-rings in the floor. Lights in the floor. The, uh, people think it's such a gimmick with the lights in the floor. Let me tell you. 
Until you have a trailer with lights on the floor, it makes it the world's easiest thing to hook the ropes to and tie the car down. My God, does it make it awesome and a delight. Works fantastic, works great. Uh, there's your panels for your outside lights when you're loading. Everything just really flows together and works pretty good and pretty great. So. For the most part, that's pretty much it for the trailer. Um, if you want to know how much the trailer costs, I'm not going to tell you. It's none of your damn business. When you want to know how much it costs, you'll go to this website or go to a trailer company, you know, to compare something comparable. And you can figure out exactly how much it costs, uh, you know, for what exactly you needed to tailor to, to your needs. Um, it's not $20,000. It's, you know, it, it's definitely a pretty penny, but it's an investment. And it's an investment for you, it's an investment for your truck, it's an investment for your hobby, or maybe it is your sport that you actually compete in. So uh, enough on the price, but everything else is, is pretty good. Oh, and obviously for the people that want to know, you can never have too many fire extinguishers. I have some all the other placed around in here as well, but you can never have too many. You never know when some shit's going to happen because when you need it, you're going to need it. But I'd rather need, not need it and have it than need it, than, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm saying it backwards. Rather have it and not need it than not have it and need it. But uh, this is the new trailer, um, and uh, this is what we're going to be taking to the races with Snow White. This trailer will primarily be used for Snow White. Every now and then when we race the Camaro, since the Camaro is pretty built up, it's pretty good. We may take this one, especially if we're going on a long trip um, as well. It's also nice that if I go on a long trip, I can also take my cat. Uh, people are laughing at my cat that way. I don't have to have someone always come back and spend time at the house. It doesn't matter if you have a cat, dog, whatever. They can go with you and they don't have to feel, you know, like they're just abandoned for however many days that you go racing. So it does help. It is nice. And it's very easy to clean the floor. You can hose it out or just mop it. It works pretty good. So that's going to conclude this episode here on the Speedbug Channel. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you for another episode here on the Speedbug Channel at the racetrack. Peace. I've been driving this train, years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame, cause I